15 American phrases that totally confuse Brits. Really interested to see what we got with this and see what kind of phrases you guys are saying in America that's going to confuse me. But before we do get into this, like 80% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. You're one of the 80%. I appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button. I'm excited to get into this and check out some confusing American phrases. So the first one I have is Monday morning quarterback. Monday morning quarterback. Huh? Yo, this has to be something to do with American football. Otherwise, like, what? Are, are people had to like quarterback in like a Monday morning? <laughs> what does this mean? So, okay. Took so a milk. quarterback is a position in right. American football. Right. Don't ask me more than that because I don't actually know what it means <laughs> beyond that. But basically, that phrase means to when someone's coming in and giving advice or giving their opinion on something when it's already happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm like, okay, well, you have the privilege of hindsight now. Um, so, this is kind of pointless information. Right. So, someone getting like their two pence in after the matter. So, like, let's say someone fell over and I was like, oh, hey. You really shouldn't have fallen over. The curb's there. <laughs> Cheers, mate. So the quarterback is a position in American football. And they're the one that dictates Why quarterback what to do. I think they tell everyone, oh, you know, you go to the oh, that way. So I guess it's that, but you're doing it in a different context. That makes sense. Yeah. After the event. Like the game's already over. That so makes sense. It's kind of like if you're playing, if people are watching or they have... But why Monday morning? <laughs> why Monday morning? ...watched a football game here... And then people are at the pub and they're like, oh, you should have gone that way and should have did this right. and did that one. It's like, well, that's not really that helpful, is it's it? It's really annoying. <laughs> yeah. oh, so to Monday morning quarterback something is actually a really annoying Interesting. thing to do. Interesting. Aha. Okay. We don't have that same phrase, but... Okay. Hey, we don't like the Monday morning uh, quarterbacks. Uh, bang for your buck. Oh, wait. I know this. I know this. Bang for your boy. Yo, that, that just means like good for your money. Like, yo, if I, if I go to like a fast food place in America and... I'm getting bad for my butt. I'm getting some really good food and a really good amount for my money, man. Right. So, buck is slang for dollar. Yes. Right. Like how we say quid here. Mm. Um, and so, when you say something has good bang for your buck, it means that it's good value. Right. Ah, okay. All right. Good so, deals. Uh, I might say, like, this flat is a good bang for your buck. Yep. Is it means right? I'm paying um, a good price compared to maybe other places around the area. Cool. Right, nice. Okay, this is a classic one that I hear, and I've never really understood it. To plead the fifth. Oh, wait. Plead the fifth. Isn't that your freedom of speech? What does this mean? Right. So the fifth is an amendment in the Constitution. Right. This is really getting into my history and politics uh -huh. knowledge here. Yeah. Um, where you basically can stay silent. Um, so in court, you can say, okay, plead the fifth, which means you actually don't have to answer any questions. Oh, so it's not like it's not freedom of speech. It's more the case like you had a right to refuse the answer to any questions. Okay. Plead the fifth. Plead the yeah, yeah. Because I hear plead the, plead the fifth a lot during like cop videos and stuff like police videos and stuff but yeah i don't know exactly what it means i just knew that yo plead the fifth plead the fifth they're just like they're, they're, they're not going to communicate with the, the police um and this interesting is in various different parts of the ju judicial process cool. so people will say like if you if i ask you a question and you like sheepishly don't want to answer the fifth. like i plead the fifth Ah, uh, okay, so we can use it in just like a really informal context. Yeah, exactly. Plead the fifth. So as like a teenager, if your mom was like, where have you been? <laughs> you could just be like, I plead the fifth. Yeah. Yo, how many of you guys have said that to you? Growing up, said that to your parents. You've been out, you might have been doing something your parents should be knowing. Oi, where you been? Plead the fifth, mom. <laughs> Probably did that when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, that's a really cool phrase. I like that one. I plead. He pleads the fit. Okay. All right. Okay, this one. I, uh, I like that saying. Times. John Hancock. Huh? Where is it John Hancock? That has to be. That has to be someone called John. Yeah. <laughs> Who is John Hancock? So John Hancock, again, this is really going into my history knowledge. So he was one of the founding fathers, if okay. I remember correctly, of so a guy. the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and when you say John Hancock, it's slang for a signature because... I think he was potentially the first person to sign the Constitution. Ah. Uh, so people were like, yo, I'm going to need your John Hancock. And they will know like, yo, you need my signature. Okay. So, Interesting. Um, 
Yeah, if someone says, I need your John Hancock, it means I need your signature. Oh, Never heard that before. Ow. Hancock just there, for example. It, to me, it sounds like a euphemism for something else. But... <laughs> yeah. <it's> not... <laughs> yeah, we want to go to the Hancock in the UK. Yo, if someone says uh, 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 something Hancock, I'm like, you want to do what, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but okay, John Hancock. A great question for you. A New York Minute. What's a, right, New, York so, minute? What's a New York Minute? Yeah, so New York, it, everyone knows it's hustle bustle. Everything is that like a quick so minute? Like a... you say something um, happened in a New York Minute, it just means very very quickly, right? In a moment, it just flashes before your eyes and then goes. Uh, okay. Yeah, I thought that because New York is on the always on the move. Like New York, New Yorkians. Is, do you say New Yorkians? <laughs> New York people are always on the move, bro. So yeah, yeah, New York Minute. Bro, I like these say. I, yo, I might start taking these sayings for myself, bro. Okay, because everything is. But no one would understand it. There. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I gotta so got like, do a New York minute. Say, for example, like, um, uh, yeah, how far? How far is the pub from here? Like, oh, it'll take you a New York minute to get there. Yeah, and it would mean like it's basically across the road. Okay, okay, so okay. not far at all. Um, do you have other minutes? Is there like, is there a Texan minute? Is there a? <laughs> <laughs> like a, a Yo, there's gotta be a state that just moves super, super slow around everywhere, or like, like they're kind of lazy, and it's a long, long, long minute. minute. Not that I know of, but I would say if there was, it would definitely be something down south that it would be the opposite because it's everything's much slower down. Okay, south. like I said, yo, yo, answer right now in the comment section. If you had to choose a state to be the state uh, minute, right? For being the slowest, like the laziest, yo, tell me right now. I want to know. I want to know what that state would be. Florida. Like a Lu Louisiana minute. Yep, exactly. Would be like a really yeah. slow, yeah. chilled minute. Yo, uh, yeah, yeah, Louisiana is that true? I never really understood um, at college or university, as we would say, you have different years. So like sophomore is a word right. I've heard. Yeah. Um, and the freshman as well. Yeah. Yeah, there ain't no difference. Yeah. So most um, I've heard of it, but don't know. You go for four years, depending mm -hmm. on what degree you're doing, but most will take four years. Same and in the UK. So if you're a freshman, that means you're in the first year. Ah, uh, second, second year. year. Junior's third year, and then your final year is your senior year. Uh, year. Oh, yeah, see, we just say first, second, third, fourth. <laughs> specific name for each. Year. We just got numbers. Okay. So freshman, I guess we translate as fresher. We have that. Yes. Yeah, we are freshers. We, we do three years here, so we don't have you just second year and third year. And you don't have anything for the last one, even. Mm. Wait, we do three years. I, I, I did four. Oh, I did a foundation year. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Third year. Or like last year. Right? Yeah, yeah. A foundation year is a year before the actual uni degree. And you got to get enough points to get into uni. No, we don't. Um, and then obviously, like, once you've graduated, you are a grad. So you have, like, all post-grad. Right. Um, but yeah, the sophomore one, I've never, I've never understood that ever. Yeah. Sophomore, okay. Yeah. Second it's year. Very, in the S US, for second. You always call each other by that you would never ever oh wait f for freshman for first s for second junior for first yeah bro you, you need someone like beginning with t for third say i'm in my second year or my third year you'd always mm. say i'm a sophomore and it's also a little bit of an identifying factor where it's like oh my god we're like we're all sophomores cool or okay like, we're all freshmen and like oh my god cool you're freshmen that's so cute like we're seniors and uh, right like, yeah in the uk nobody ever goes oh we're all second year uh yearers <laughs> no one says that is it um reduced down it's sort of a freshie are you a freshie or anything like that or is it like a I'm fresh. Not that I remember, but it's been a long time since I've been at university, <laughs> so maybe someone will chime in in the comments. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. Ah, to knock on wood. Now I heard this phrase. Wait, 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 wait. I swear people say this in the UK. Like I've heard of it. Knock on wood just means like you don't want to jinx yourself. Like you don't want to make it not come true. So if I was like, yo, I really want to like get um i'd be like oh i'm gonna get two hundred thousand subs this year i'd be like knock on wood because if i don't knock on wood it won't come true you know what i mean i'm gonna like jinx myself the first ever time i heard it was surely um, right band um who i'm blanking on now but they're so they had a song called every time i knock on wood da -da 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 -da. no they might be knocking on wood <laughs> <laughs> they might actually be knocking on wood. That's funny because I feel like I've heard that my entire life. Uh, basically, it means to not, you don't want to jink something. So Boom! if you're like, uh, yo, I I'll know these phrases. Next week, 
and then hopefully, and then you go like knock on wood, and then you're supposed to go find a piece of wood, and you go knock, knock, knock. Yeah. And um, it's like I don't want to knock on wood. So hopefully, it's still happening. Oh, it's like for luck. Yeah. I've always done that oh, in the UK. Kind of it's how does he know that? No, not not quite luck. It's it's just that you like don't want to jinx something. So I've always done that. Or you're like you tap I've never wood. been in a car accident before. Knock on wood. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. All right, so that translate for us is like to touch touch wood. Oh yeah, well right, yeah, same thing. Knock on wood, touch wood, tap on wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're doing yeah, something yeah, with yeah, the wood. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, makes total sense. Then. Um, another phrase uh, for the birds. Mm. I've seen there's a Pixar film called For the Birds. Is this like feeding birds? I didn't get the reference. I didn't. What, what's like what you're bringing mean? bird yeah, seeds? I've not heard this one too many times. I've never used it, but it basically means that it's like pointless or useless. So ah. you could say like um, what? this uh, seminar is for, for the, the birds. birds. Like let's just go. <laughs> this seminar. <laughs> you're not this. One. Not this one. <laughs> no. Yo, <laughs> I've <laughs> never heard of that. Okay, okay, so just useless. Like no point in it. Huh, okay, I'd love to know. For the, the birds. If anyone knows the sort of the etymology of that, why this phrase exists, let us know in the comments below. Interesting. Okay, our next one, we're rattling through these. Uh, to be behind the eight ball. Uh... Huh? Wait, is an eight ball pool? To be behind the eight ball. Do they mean like eight ball is in like the like the crystal spiritual ball, bro? So like you're a genie, you're 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 a wizard. Um, an eight ball. You're a wizard? Is from pool, right? Yep. The, oh, yeah, they're talking pool about pool. <laughs> yeah, which is the last one you want to get in when you're playing pool. Right. Okay. Pool, pool pro here. Oh, so you're unlucky. Um, you're unlucky. So, you're unlucky. Again, this one I've not really heard that much. Uh, so we do it unlucky. It means that you're, because if you, in pool, if you're behind the eight right. ball, you're at a disadvantage because you mm -hmm. don't want to knock the eight ball because of various reasons and you don't want it to go in the hole. So, okay. Um, it may that saying basically means that you're at a disadvantage and you don't want to do that. Okay. All right. Yo, that's really long to say though. Like, if you're actually at a disadvantage, you're like, oh man, I'm behind the eight ball. What do you just be like? Oh man, I'm at a disadvantage. <laughs> okay, interesting. So, uh, maybe if I'm like, I'm training to, in a, for a race, mm -hmm. and maybe like I haven't been training as long as some other people. Then I could say, Yo, behind, behind the eight ball. ball. Yeah. Yes. I think it would be, that might work, but I think it's more of that you would say, like, um, I've sprained my ankle, so now I'm behind the eight ball. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Okay, makes sense. Right. Okay, another one, uh, the whole nine yards. This one rings a bell. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It does ring a bell, but I don't know for what. The whole nine yards? The whole nine yards? Does that mean, like, you gotta go on a jog? <laughs> Heard you got a rod? I guess loads, but I don't know if I've used it in a very long time. I have been here for 10 years, though, so I mm. think sometimes, like, I forget and I've lost a lot of the, the isms. I wish I was her, man. I could just move out there. The English ones. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the whole nine yards basically means, like, everything. So huh? I'll say sometimes, um, yeah, so we... Oh, so it means, like, like, to work extra hard. You do it to the fullest extent. We, like got this this and this like yeah we did everything we did the whole nine yards or you did everything nine yards and okay um yeah just like kind of means like we did it all interesting okay, cool. so like if i went to america and i like did everything i wanted to do i'd be like yo i went to america and did the whole nine yards uh, oh, i maybe, like that um you know i'm thinking like a, i do like that houses some people like to decorate the houses then there's one house that's just like lit up. yeah 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 like yo I'm gonna make sure I go the whole nine yards with my streaming setup and my YouTube setup. This room right here this year, bro. Like my previous setups, I kind of just didn't upgrade them or didn't do anything. I'm going the whole nine yards with this one. Hey, hey, I, I like that. It's the whole nine yards. I actually really like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice phrase. Okay, we've got a few more. Um, ooh, this one. Um, yeah, what? I can't lie. You guys got some really cool. Uh, phrases. Boil. I've heard this word, and again, we've got the oh, word boil, but not broil. I learned this in a different video. Now, we don't bo broil things in... No, no, no. Broil is to grill in the UK, I think. Like, our grill is your broil. Like, when we grill something in the oven, the top part of the oven, that's your broil, I think. Yeah. So, this has actually confused me for <laughs> until recently, because I was... I would talk to my parents about things I would be making here um, and using recipes here. And they would be like, 
grill, like you don't have a grill. And I'm like, no, there's like the grill setting on the oven and I use that. And my yeah. parents are like, I don't get what that means, but that's broil broil. is the same thing as grill. Here. Right. Okay. And so it's a setting and the oven there as well. Yeah. The way you described it earlier, it was like, you know, the one with the fire that does <laughs> the, so, oh, yeah, that, oh, the, yeah. the, the, the Zigzag. That's not really a phrase, and that's more word. Right at the top. <laughs> like, oh yes. Put that slide. Put that slide. Okay, cool. So I, I'm gonna broil this chicken rather than grill this chicken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I'd like to do uh, yar. Oh, yar. I love. I actually wish we said this more in the UK, but it's just weird if we do, like say it right now because nobody does. But y'all, that is such like an easy word to say to other people for stuff for like, for like you all we we don't have a short word for you all you know what i mean you guys just have y'all like i hope y'all enjoy this video instead of being like yo i hope all of you guys enjoy this video you know, do you have any words added in there y'all is so easy bro yeah because that's a that's a word that we do not have here i like um, it i hear it a lot and I, I like it a lot kind of, yeah i kind of understand it but yeah how would yeah. you use it so, I mean, y'all is just short for you all. Mm -hmm. And y'all okay? Every time you want to say you all, you just say, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, you all. I guess people don't really say hey, you all as much, but mm. it's very. Yeah, we would be like, how are you guys on this fine evening? It's a, and you guys are like, hey, y'all. No, I'm taking it, bro. Does it sound weird when I say it? Be honest. <laughs> as a Brit, does it sound weird when I'm like, hey, y'all? I'm taking it, bro. I don't care. That that makes life so much easier. Very common in um, the southern part. I'm of taking the most of these. How you gonna lie? It's like you just hear it Screw all it. the time, and it's kind of. If I ever go to the south, I'm going the whole nine yards <laughs> with this phrase, bro. I'm, I'm I'm taking all of them. See, I'm learning. U.S. People are always saying it, and it kind of like gets in my head, and then I'll be like. Start saying it like, no, nope, I'm from New York. I live in London. I'm not allowed to say it. Oh, really? So like, yeah. oh. someone who wouldn't say y'all? No. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thing. But it's kind of charming too. I think so. Yeah. You've said it, but I definitely, yeah, you've definitely said it. Or do you, do you even put it in messages sometimes? Like, hey, y'all. It's just Maybe. easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 To, be, to be fair, I think like people. Will do no, I'm not going to lie. Y'all have like the easiest phrases, bro. Like you just make life easier. See how I put it in there? It's so easy, bro. Instead of being like, all of you guys, I'm just like, y'all, all of you guys have the best phrases. Y'all have the best phrases. No, I'm, yeah, I'm taking that, bro. I hopefully it doesn't sound weird me saying that because <laughs> I'm robbing it. Do it like for fun if they're not. Do you guys give me out, permission to take? To, um, instead of being like, hey, ya, uh, or something like that, it's like, hey, y'all. Yeah. Oh, but wait, I, I just said it there. I said, do, do you guys give me permission? Y'all give me permission to take? Oh, that sounds weird, then. I think there are definitely those words where you feel like you're being quite playful and you're not necessarily from that region or whatever. Right. There's a few Scottish words I use where it's like, okay, I'm not Scottish, but it's fun to say like, like we for small, right? Like, I'm a wee bit. It's oh, like, a, it's a little wee a bit. Fun, it's almost yeah, 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 yeah. I get what it's saying. saying these words, so. yeah. I get what it's cool. saying. All right. I think, I think that's everything. I think we've, we've done a lot. Yeah, that was a good video. Make sure you guys go check them out. Really enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section as well. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. You guys want to check me out over there? I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.